Alright everyone, now we're going to talk about adding and subtracting fractions with the different denominators. Remember, if they're the same denominators, you can check out the other lesson. So we're going to go ahead and move forward and talk about doing that addition or subtraction with different denominators. Now this is tricky because if you remember the previous lesson, we have to make the denominators the same, right? So that involves an extra step that we got to go through today, right now. All right. So let's look at a particular problem. Let's do, let's do, I don't know, two fifths plus one third. All right. If you notice right from the onset, these denominators are different. Five is different from three. So we can't do the magical write down the, the, the same number for the denominator because they're different. We don't know what that number should be, right? So that means we can't even add the numerators because they have to be the same. Now, in order to get a same denominator, what we need to do, we need to go ahead and convert the number, all right? We need to find a common denominator. Now, a super easy way to find a common denominator is to multiply the two numbers together and you'll get it. So let's come up over here, let's put a little box, and let's do five times three. Well, 5 times 3 is going to equal 15. Very good. 15. Perfect. Now, you'll see here that from your times tables, 5 times 3 is 15. So we need to change this to have a denominator of 15 because 15 is common amongst both of them. So in order to do that, we have to do a multiplication of our fractions. All right? So we're going to write down 2 over 5 times some number is going to equal something over 15. Okay. Before we get, continue with this, we've got to talk a little bit about the multiplicative identity. Oh, no, it sounds real scary, but it's not. Basically, what that says is that any number times 1 is that same number. All right? So what's 3 times 1? 3. 7 times 1? 7. 115 times 1? 115. A, kil a billion, a trillion, kajillion times one is a billion, a trillion, kajillion. Cool? So if we do two-fifths times one, two-fifths times one is what? Two-fifths. Now what we have to do here is we have to come up with what's called a clever form of one. A clever form of one allows us to transform this fraction into a different fraction with a denominator of 15 and so we're not really changing what this is because we're multiplying by one, but it's what is known as a clever form of one. So allow me to explain. We also know from other examples that any number divided by itself is what? One. So 11 divided by 11, one. 17 divided by 17, one. Three divided by three, one. Okay, those are what's clever form of one. So what we want to do here, we want to set up a fraction with the same number on top as the same number on bottom because that's the same thing as multiplying by 1. And when you multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. So we can say 5 times some number equals 15. Now what could that number be? Huh. That's why we did this over here in this box. 5 times 3 equals 15. So if I put 3 on the bottom, I can also put 3 on the top because 3 divided by 3 is just 1. So 2 fifths times 3 over 3 is the same thing as saying 2 fifths times 1. I'm not changing the fraction any. That's why we make this number right here. Now 5 times 3 is 15. 2 times 3, because we're multiplying straight across, we're multiplying fractions, 2 times 3 is 6. So 2 fifths is the same thing as saying 6 fifteenths. So what I can do, I can come over here and replace my two-fifths with 6 over 15. Now, we're saying 6 over 15 plus 1 over 3 equals, well, you still notice we have different denominators. 15 is different than 3. So we have to make the same sort of conversion with the one-third. So let's do that down here. All right. 1 over 3 times some number over 
over some number, which is just our clever form of 1, is going to equal some number over 15. Again, we want to have the same number over the same number because we want to multiply it by 1. So 3 times what number equals 15? Boom! Right up here again. This is why we did this little box. Be sure to write it down in your paper. It'll help you out. 3 times 5 is 15. Well, if I have a 5 on the bottom, I need to put a 5 up top because this is now equal to 1. 1 times 5 is 5. Very good. So 1 third times 5 over 5 equals 5 over 15. So another way of saying 1 third would be making it 5 over 15. It's the same thing, it's just a different way of saying it. It would be like saying house in English, casa in Spanish. One third is the same as five fifteenths. It's just a different way of saying it. Now let's look. I have 6 over 15 plus 5 over 15. Alright? Keeping in mind, this is no different than saying 2 over 5 plus 1 over 3. We just changed how they look. So, my denominator, 15, is the same as 15, so I can go shoop, put that 15 right there, because they're the same. And up top, what do I do? You guessed it. We just add. It's just like our other ones. 6 plus 5 equals 11. Cool? I'm going to do another example really quick before I run out of time. We're going to do a subtraction one. Alright? Let's see how this goes. We're going to do 2 over 3 minus 1 over 4. Again, you'll notice that our denominators are different. 3 is not equal to 4. We come over here into the magic box. 3 times 4 equals 12. So 12 is what's going to be our common denominator. So we take 2 thirds times some number, which is the same thing as 1, equals something over 12. 3 times 4 equals 12. So I put a 4 here. 4 is on the bottom. 4 has to be on top. 2 times 4 is 8. So 2 thirds is the same as 8 twelfths. Let's do 1 fourth now. 1 over 4 times a clever form of 1 equals some number over 12. 4 times 3 is 12. So 3 is on the bottom. 3 has to be on top. 1 times 3 is 3. So 1 fourth is the same thing as saying 3 twelfths. So we can come up here and erase these and substitute in. So we now have over here 8 over 12. Oh, my marker's dying out on me. 8 over 12. Make that a little bit prettier. Over here, we're going to have 3 over 12. Now, we have 8 twelfths minus 3 twelfths. You notice our denominators are the same, so we can just put the 12 right there. Up top, 8 minus 3 is 5. So our answer is 5 twelfths. 5 twelfths is equal to 2 thirds minus 1 fourth, which we just rewrote as 8 twelfths minus 3 twelfths. All right, thank you very much. I hope this answers some of your questions. Um, if you have any doubts of what to do when the denominators are the same, check out the previous lesson. Good luck with your homework, and I hope you have a good day. Thanks a lot. Bye.